I apologize because there's some there's some that you know boyfriends and girlfriends that are gonna be interrogated when they go home after they listen to this. <laughs> You're one of the coldest of guys, and there's nothing stronger than the boldness in pride. But you keep on thinking about that girl that never let you take her home tonight. She left you in wonder, but eventually you got that number and it usually starts off well. You never found it hard to gel. Using all her zealous and charm, using all your zealous and charm to get her in your arms, but the rest, like the rest of her exes, she was pie in your palms. But you're not in this for the settle now. All you do is get around. She was supposed to be another throwaway, but when the deed was done, you couldn't go away. This one had a mysterious past and superior class. Wasn't trying to leave your pockets thin, but there's something about loyal girls, the chocolate skin. But a connection isn't what you're here to build. What build is in factory? Why would you go to the factory for when you want something sweet from the candy store? I like the taste of that one. Hand me more. Six months in, it's no longer a loving. You realize you're not a one woman guy. That's something you can't deny, but it gets to you when she starts to cry right in front of you like you hit her one and two. You vainly say you're not like these other youths when she accuses you of being just like these other brutes and she's telling you straight, I'm this close to leaving. I'm this close to putting you and your bullshit through the ceiling and I don't know why you're smirking right now. This is not a joke. I'm not laughing. I am now broken. My soul is starving. I feel choked and you don't listen to me when I say that my heart is beginning to harden. I beg your pardon. You're acting like you knew this attraction wouldn't be fatal. When you met me, you knew I wasn't an angel, so I don't know why you're talking about how you're this close to sending me a breakup text when I already know all your pent up rage is only gonna lead to the best makeup sex. You know what you're doing to her is a part, but all is forgotten when you're on her curb, bro. Desire takes over and her train of thought isn't thought out. She wants to be furious, but she's just worn out. She's too tired to get up and walk out. And that's fine by you because you used to play the field like that. And she can't stay angry at you because she's just not built like that. You start to kiss her neck, you lead her back to bed, you get her back undressed. And just before you slide it hard and deep in between her legs, you whisper to the side of her face and you say the words, I'm gonna change. And she remembers the pain and wants to fight back, but forgets the strain when she starts to climax. You feel like the man when she's moaning and groaning and coming to and this pretense of love is the cloak that covers you. But the penny's dropped, hasn't it? Suddenly you can no longer handle it. She got up for work early again. You're alone in the flat and you start to hurt again. You know you put her through hell, but when you tried to leave yourself, you realized you got attached to her as well. No lie, that's what we call a soul tie. And now you're looking in the mirror, paying for neglect and paying for your regrets. And these are the thoughts that are parading in your head. This is the woman you're failing to protect. And now you can't walk with the stride of a winner because there's no mask in the life of a sinner. So you're about to change. The treasure of repentance is around the corner, but then your ego persuades your actions are one of crown. What I'm doing is fine. Who has a right to tell me I'm crossing the line? It's always occurred to me, this is what you do when you're young and you're fresh and you go to university. I want the girl in the poster with the promotional features. I want the Instagram model with the promotional features. You want the model with the promotional features, but that doesn't make her any less of an emotional creature. That's just a feeble attempt to make some claim that youth is a reason to play dumb games. When she's gonna wake up, you know she will one day. But that got to you when you went to work on Monday. Now you're promising the Lord on a Sunday you'll change your ways one day. Now look at the person in pieces. Now you're praying to a God that you've heard about, but you've never really believed in. And you're saying shit like, I know this can't last. So if you're so mighty, oh, please do what you claim to do. You were shocked when you got a response back saying, my patience is perfect, but I'm not gonna let her wait for you. You thought it was cool to be a savage, but look at the damage. In the end, you realize your errors and your gamesmanship, but don't be upset when I send her to a better relationship. She left. You get defensive when the boys ask you why. 
you get reflective and far more pensive when you comprehend beauty past you by and now you question what class of guy you belong to since being grown and serious is something you can't combat. You can still go to the pub and go to the club and get who you want. Being charming is an area where you've never needed help. But you didn't learn from last time. And so the cycle of damage repeats itself. Thank you.